Day 232, Jeremiah chapter 7 through 10, Worthless Worship. Trust in lying words, judgment on obscene religion. 8. The peril of false teaching. 9. The prophet mourns for the people. The people mourns in judgment. 10. Idols and the true God. Idolatry and hypocrisy have permeated every fiber of Judah's national life. People, prophets, and priests alike practice worthless worship in haughty indifference. But through Jeremiah, God delivers a ringing indictment. That nation, with all its outward splendor, will be reduced to a heap of ruins because of the people's arrogance and idolatry. At the thought of Judah's imminent divine surgery, Jeremiah weeps unashamedly for his hard-hearted countrymen. Day 233, Jeremiah 11 through 14 the Broken Covenant Chapter 11 The Broken Covenant Jeremiah's Life Threatened 12. Jeremiah's Question The Lord Answers Jeremiah 13. Symbol of the Linen Sash Symbol of the Wine Bottles Pride Precedes Captivity 14. Sword, famine, and pestilence. God instructs Jeremiah to take a linen girdle, a tight fitting belt or sash, and bury it by the Euphrates River. Later, he is told to dig it up again. The result is predictable one ruined girdle, unfit to wear any longer and the parallel is painfully clear. Selected by God for a place of intimate fellowship, just like the girdle, Judah would now be cast away in judgment for her corruption. Day 234, Jeremiah 15-18 Jeremiah prays for deliverance. Chapter 15 The Lord will not relent. Jeremiah's dejection. The Lord reassures Jeremiah. 16. Jeremiah's lifestyle and message. God will restore Israel. 17. Judah's sin and punishment. Jeremiah prays for deliverance. 18. The portal and the clay. God's warning rejected. Jeremiah persecuted. The heart of man out of communion with God is wicked and deceitful above all things. Those who have wedded themselves to sin invite God's judgment upon their own head. There is only disappointment and vexation for those who depend upon the arms of flesh instead of God, but those who by faith obtain strength and grace from God will be enabled to do that which will contribute to God's glory, the benefit of others and their own account. Day 235 Jeremiah 19 through 22. Lot of chance for Judah's leaders. Chapter 19. The sign of the broken flask. 20. The word of God to Pashur. Jeremiah's unpopular ministry. 21. Jerusalem's doom is sealed. Message to the house of David. 22. Message to the house of David and the son of Josiah. God never cast one off until they cast him off. But when men revolt from their allegiance to him 
and trample on the food they are covenant with him. He gives them up to judgment. If God be for us, none can be against us. But if he be against us, who can be for us to stand us in any stead? Our God is a consuming fire, and when once he is angry because of man's sins, no one can stand in his sight. Day 236, Jeremiah 23-26 through 26, 70 years of captivity 23. The branch of righteousness False prophets and empty oracles 24. The sign of two baskets of figs 25. 70 years of captivity The cup of God's wrath 26. Jeremiah threatened with death. Judah would never receive from God the desolating punishment if they did not provoke him by the evil of their persistent sin. The result of provocation to God will prove in the end at least the utter ruin. Time is running out for Judah. The day of his fierce wrath is coming upon all the earth. Already a growing sense of doom grips the nation. The nation will lie desolate for seventy long years when the wrath of God is finally poured out upon his wayward flock. Day 237 Jeremiah 27 through 29, strong opposition to Jeremiah. Chapter 27, symbol of the bonds and yokes. 28, the false prophet Hananiah. 29, a letter to the exiles. Jeremiah's message of judgment arose strong opposition. While Zedekiah rules, Jeremiah dons a wooden yoke to portray the importance of Jerusalem surrounding to the yoke of Babylon, and thereby arose the denunciation of the false prophet Hananiah. In the midst of this turmoil, Jeremiah sends the exiles in Babylon a letter of encouragement urging them to settle down for an extended and predicted period of captivity.